So we were having this conversation about uh, reverse breakdown in a PN junction. And we talked about two processes that could uh, possibly cause this. So the very first was the avalanche of carriers, that is avalanche of uh, electrons or holes, which could cause this uh, reverse breakdown. But there's another process which can cause this uh, reverse breakdown as well. And that's called as uh, tunneling. Or sometimes uh, the diode which utilizes this process is called as a Zener diode, named after Mr. Clarence Zener, who discovered this uh, phenomenon first so how does this tunneling you know work it sounds like a, a term which you know some somebody who's trying to escape from a prison might uh, use but how does this tunneling uh, work so let me explain that using a, using a band diagram in a pn junction so let's assume i have a pn junction and so this is my pn junction and I'll further assume that my P side is uh, heavily doped. So I have a P plus and my N side is, is you know, not so heavily doped. So I have a P plus N junction. So in this case, most of the, most of the depletion width or most of the depletion region would uh, lie in my N type region. So I'm indicating the boundaries of these depletion region by this green region. So this would be essentially where my depletion region is. So now let me draw the band diagram. So I have my P type region and I have my N type region and I'm further assuming that I'm biasing it, you know, close to the breakdown. So I'm biasing it in a very high reverse uh, voltage. So this is my P type region and and this is my N type region. So this is my N type region over here. And let me draw the quasi Fermi levels. So in my P, this is my P plus and this is my N region. And then all the reverse bias that I've applied. So I've applied a large reverse bias across my PN junction. It will occur that reverse voltage will, that voltage will drop across this uh, depletion region. And then I can, you know, further draw the band diagram in the depletion region. So in my depletion region, I would be having my conduction band from the P side connect to the conduction band on the N side and my valence band on the P side conduct connecting to the valence band on the end side. So now let me put myself in the shoe of, uh, you know, let me think from the perspective of a carrier in this, uh, in this uh, PN uh, junction. So if I'm an electron in this, uh, in this uh, depletion region, I would love to go, you know, if I'm an electron situated here in my P plus uh, region, I would love to go down the hill and, you know, go into my, into my N region because, you know, I, there are, I would love to, you know, traverse down the hill electrons like to, you know, go down the hill. So I would, I would like to go from this P plus region into this N region. The problem is I'm, you know, I'm, 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 there are not that many electrons in a P plus region, right? So this is a P plus region. So I have very few electrons over here. But on the other hand, I have a lot of uh, electrons which are not mobile electrons, which are located inside my valence band. So my valence band, you know, if I, if I think of all the states below my valence band, these are all filled up with electrons. But, you know, for them to become mobile, one way to do that is to, you know, go from this, uh, go from this valence band into the conduction band and now they can drift down this hill and you know they can drift in this field and go to the inside uh, on, on onto the inside semiconductor but now these electrons are thinking you know that there's this there's you know there's there i can utilize this field to maybe you know maybe create another path so let's 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 think you know what this electron can be thinking so what this electron would be saying is you know if i can somehow get from get from my valence band so i have you know i have a lot of electrons over here if i can somehow get over here so you know if i can somehow tunnel through this region if i can tunnel through this region so you know let me call this region x and this is my overall depletion width so my x the region which i have to tunnel through is a is a fraction of my overall overall uh, depletion width. So now what this electron is thinking that if I can somehow tunnel through and you know, if I can go from here, from this valence band 
into the conduction band inside the depletion region then you know i'm a, i'm a free man you know i have escaped this prison or you know i have escaped this uh, uh, escape all these other electrons which are in the valence band but are no longer mobile i have reached the conduction band and now i'm free to move and i can utilize this field to you know go and slide down this hill as well so by having this pn junction i'm providing this alternate path which my electrons uh, inside the valence band can now essentially go to the conduction band if they traverse this region inside my depletion region so now let me think of what will happen if i increase the doping in my increase the doping on my n side or make it a p plus n plus junction so now let's consider the case where i have a highly doped junction on both the p plus and n plus side so i have p plus over here and I have another n plus over here so in this case all my depletion width would which is essentially inversely proportional to the square root of the doping so my depletion width would be small or i will have a very small depletion region so my depletion region which used to be this big will essentially now you know reduce in terms of the total width of the depletion region but i'm applying the same same voltage across so now this voltage uh, reverse voltage will be dropping across a much smaller width or in other words i'll be having a much higher electric uh, field so let me again draw the band diagram how the band diagram would look so again i have my p plus region so i have this region and then i have my n region and i have my n region which is also now heavily doped so i have this over here and i have my n plus region and these are the boundaries of my depletion region so now i have a much i have a you know much narrower depletion region so now how would the band diagram look like so i have to connect again the conduction band on the p side to the conduction band on the n side and again the valence band on the p side on the valence band on the n side and i can again draw these quasi fermi levels so this is my quasi fermi level for p side and this is my quasi fermi level for this heavily doped n side and again i'm applying the same amount of voltage and all of that is dropping across this uh, depletion uh, across this depletion region so now let me again put myself in the shoes of uh, of these uh, electrons and let me think you know what 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 can i you know what can i do so again if i'm if i if i look in the p type region i have lot of these electrons which are inside the, or below my valence band and now you know again they're thinking that you know i would actually like to escape this valence band and i would you know love to become a free man i would you know want to escape this prison of my valence band and i would like to you know tunnel through and go go over here but look now what i have done i have decreased my depletion width or in other words the the amount of distance that i have to travel or you know the amount of distance that i have to travel which i denote by x which is a fraction of the depletion width is now also substantially reduced as well so now i have made it much easier for these electrons in the valence band to tunnel through to the conduction band and now they can drift much easier uh, you know now there's a high electric field and you know they can nicely drift into this uh, into this uh, n plus uh, region so another way to think about it is to think about this barrier for tunneling so if i have a electron which is starting from here and you know it's slowly moving here it's slowly moving here if it's inside the conduction band you know then there's no barrier if it's over here then it sees the bar it sees a barrier which is you know equivalent to the band gap so in, a, in a, another you know way i can represent this barrier for tunneling is this shaded region in this you know this shaded and this shaded red region is what represents my barrier uh, to my tunneling similarly if i have an electron which is starting from the valence band over here when it comes to the conduction band it has no barrier but when it starts from the valence band it has this barrier equivalent to the band gap and then this barrier slowly reduces as it's uh, as it's tunneling in this uh, forbidden space or as it's trying to escape so this bar so there's always a barrier higher barrier when this electron starts and then when it, it reaches the 
uh, which is the conduction bar and it has no barrier to or it's a free electron uh, from that point so again the barrier overall barrier i can represent it uh, by this uh, shaded region which represents this uh, overall barrier for tunneling so as i'm reducing my x what i'm done is you know i've reduced the area under this uh, under this uh, shaded region so i've reduced my barrier uh, to tunneling so now let's let's think about what I have done over here. So if I have increased my doping, if I have increased my doping in my n-type region, what I have effectively done is I have reduced my depletion width. And by doing that, another thing that I have done is I have reduced the amount of distance that I have to travel. So I have the amount of distance that my electron needs to tunnel, I have reduced that. And in return, what I've done is I've increased my probability of tunneling or I've increased the reduced uh, the barrier for tunneling. So in other words, my tunneling current should essentially increase or my voltage for breakdown, which is caused by tunneling, should uh, decrease. Similarly, if I another thing that I can play with, so if I want to reduce this uh, this barrier, one way I can do it by reducing the depletion width. Another way I can do it is by reducing my band gap. So this area under this shaded region, it depends both on the band gap of my material and the amount of distance that my electron has to tunnel through. Mm -hmm. So if I reduce my band gap, again, I reduce this uh, barrier to tunneling and I achieve, you know, I increase my tunneling probability and I reduce my breakdown voltage, which is limited by this tunneling. So let's look at you know some some experimental data. So plotted here is for example this breakdown voltage, and it's plotted as a function of uh, doping uh, concentration. So it has you know both these uh, processes uh, shown where you know this 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 breakdown uh, phenomena could happen both by both by either an avalanche mechanism or by a tunneling mechanism. What happens, in fact, if you go to higher doping, if you go to higher doping, you see over here that your tunneling dominates. So if you go to doping concentrations which are higher than this value, then these breakdown voltages are in fact limited by tunneling. On the other hand, if you have low doping, then you know the other process, the other process for breakdown. So all this region is dominated by avalanche, avalanche uh, tunneling related background. And again, you see that if you, when, even when you are limited by tunneling, if you reduce your band gap. So if you go from gallium phosphide to gallium arsenide to silicon to germanium, as you are reducing your band gap. Again, you're reducing the breakdown voltage. So you're reducing the breakdown voltage. So if you consider the breakdown voltage for gallium phosphide versus the breakdown voltage for germanium at the same doping, you see that germanium has a much lower breakdown voltage. So again, by both by increasing the doping, if I go to a higher dope uh, region, I am you know most likely uh, most likely you know calling upon this tunneling phenomena. And then also if I if I reduce the band gap of the semiconductor, which is making my PN junction, again I'm I'm favoring this tunneling mechanism or I'm favoring my Zener breakdown.